Okay, um, Panasonic re released their GH5 firmware update, version 2.0. Uh, today's September 27th, and uh, I'm just going to go through uh, downloading that from the website and installing it on the uh, GH5. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just have a, an SD card, and you're going to want to go in and uh, make sure that you format that card as well, because um, just to make sure it's a, a clean card. So now that I have a, a I know a formatted car, I'll, card, I'll just take that and put it on my PC and get it ready for the download. Okay, uh, so version 2.0, uh, you probably read through this already, so I'm not going to bother, and you've probably been watching videos since uh, you've been waiting for a while for this. So if you go down to the download page, you're going to want to make sure that you click, go to the very bottom and uh, click the I accept uh, on the firmware page and then you'll be able to download uh, that firmware for the, the GH5. So click to the download page and down at the bottom uh, I'm on a Mac so I'm going to download the zip which actually I've already done. So if I show that on my PC you want to extract that. My program extracts it um, automatically. So once it's extracted did you'll have a, a bin file that's what they asked for here so if you go to the bottom of, below the download it tells you how to do it so for a Mac extract it and you'll end up with a bin file so this bin file you're gonna want it to put onto your formatted card so I'm just gonna bring it over here and stick it on my formatted card so this is the GH5 version 2.0 bin which is quite large, it's 67 megabytes. So there we go. And I'm just going to inject that now and bring it over to the camera. So you'll see that I have a full battery because. Uh, Step two, that's the first thing they're going to ask you, is to make sure that you have a full battery. And I recommend using a Panasonic brand battery, not an off-brand battery. Uh, just because you never know what's going to happen. You don't want the firmware to be interrupted halfway through the version up. So, with the firmware installed, I'm just going to turn my camera off since it was on. I'm going to turn it back on again, just to make sure and then they ask you to play use the play button so it's going to go look on the card and it's going to find that bin file and then ask you if you want to start the version up which I do so I'll just say start version up yes okay so version up is ongoing so don't touch the camera uh, while it's doing this now I have vlog installed on my camera so I'm just curious afterwards to make sure that everything is still good um, that I still have my vlog and I have also some cards I know they don't work you need a, a V60 or V90 card I have like some transcends that uh, I've been using with this and they've been really working really well as well as the Extreme Pro and actually these uh, Lexar 400s have been uh, not too bad they've kind of taken some time to record when um, uh, certain higher bit rates but for my normal daily use these have been working fine too but uh, today we'll find out what exactly um, works of these cards which I assume is going to be uh, none of these cards working okay so let's go into the menu here I'm gonna go on okay so I can see that my vlog is still there so that's good I'm just going to check out the menu here. So vlog. We're going to go into here and see. Oh, yes, there's quite a number of other settings here. There's 4K, 400, all I. Oops. So I'll just go down there. Let's just check this out. Okay, and I'm in vlog, 400i. And I'll take this card out. I'll try the transcend first of all here. 
and we'll probably watch it choke. I'm going to take the lens cap off just so it's not just recording a that. Okay, so it's recording. And see how long that glass. Just put some movement in there. Yep. Recording cancel due to the elimination of limitation of the card. So that's fine. Just turn that off. So that lasted about eight seconds, but there's probably no file on there. I'll try the SanDisk 3295. Oops, I didn't save that setting. Let's just make sure it's still on there. Yeah, it's still set to that. Okay, recording with the SanDisk 32, well, 95 megabytes a second. And 12 seconds, 15, yeah. Recording was canceled due to limitation of the speed of the card. So after 15 seconds, it has been canceled as well. So let's actually just try, let's record. Up to, I'm going to try like seven seconds and stop it and then play back. Oh, it probably won't play back in the card because of the, let's see. Oh yeah, it does, okay. So we're gonna hear me. So you try like seven seconds. Okay, so I got an eight second clip out of that with uh, 400 all I uh, in Vlog. Um, so there we go. Anyway, that's uh, all you need to do to update your GH5 to version 2.0 firmware. Have a lots of fun, guys, and uh, I'll be looking forward to getting some new cards and uh, filming with this thing. Have a great day.